Okay, the topic here is going to be room by room load calculations. Um, I know we have a video on the website uh, that walks you through a sample whole house load calculation. Uh, so I figured I'd, I'd throw up a video here with some room by room load calculations. As you can see on the, the right hand of my screen, um, I have a, a little bit of a floor plan uh, for a house. We're, gonna, we're not going to focus on the whole house just to keep the video at a, a somewhat uh, short, uh, easy to use, um, easy to review um, type of video. So what I'm going to do um, in this example, I'm going to go through those three rooms that you see with the orange dot on it, the master bathroom, the bedroom, um, and then the office. So it, the purpose of the video will be to, to g give you an idea of how you can operate out of a room by room, how you can analyze some reports um, from that. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, some of the stuff I'm going to hit uh, we do hit in the whole house video, uh, which might help you as well. Um, you will see we have um, our design conditions, your city and state. You can adjust those. You can set those as default um, as you wish. Now, when we when we go to the when we get started with our, our floor plan, or if you're doing a room by room in the field, however you're doing it, you have a few different options here. We do have a drop down um, that lists a bunch of different rooms for you. You can also type in um, whatever room you would like um, as well. At the same time, if you wanted to add uh, four or five rooms um, at one time, you can do that um, in the program um, if you wish. Again, I'm only doing three rooms here, um, so we're just going to get started here with the master bathroom. So I'm going to type in master bathroom, and as you can see on my little drawing there um, that I have pulled up next to the program, it is not included with the program. Um, our master bathroom is 18 by 18. Our wall height is 9 feet tall. Obviously, we're not going to put any occupants in the bathroom. Manual J, if you're doing a room by room, Manual J suggests you put the occupants where you think they'll be at, at 6 p.m. Some people will throw them in the living room. Uh, some people will put one person in each bedroom. It's just a matter of, of, of your preference. Down here at the bottom, you're going to see a bunch of different um, appliance loads. Uh, for instance, uh, you know, in a whole house scenario, we're going to put in the, the average, the 2400 scenario. Now, if you're doing a room by room, you may put in a refrigerator in the kitchen. Uh, you may put in, uh, and we'll get to it here in a bit, a computer in the office, uh, a TV in the family room. You don't really want to go too much overkill, but you do need to account for those appliances um, and things that are running all the time. So in this case the master bathroom we're just going to leave that that blank. From there uh, and again I mentioned this in the whole house we get really rep repetitious uh, from there. So what we're going to do we're going to add our wall to our master bathroom. If you if you look at my drawing here we only have two exterior walls on this master bathroom so that's all we're doing we're not going to put in interior walls interior doors there's no need for that we're just focusing on those those items that are connected to outside temperatures now once we add our wall we're going to tell it what type of wall we have uh, so I'm just going to choose a frame wall uh, with some standard insulation now once it stops me up here with my type I can come down here and put in my my wall length which is going to be 18 feet as you can see in my drawing there that is a north wall so on my wall I've chosen my type uh, I've given it a size and a direction now if you look at my drawing over here I do have another wall that I need to add in that is facing west so we're gonna go ahead and add a wall the nice thing with the program it assumes we have the same construction it even saves my size and I can make that the west wall and now my walls in that bedroom are done. Now if you'll note on my drawing I do have a window in that master bathroom so what we're gonna do we're gonna add a window and you'll see that appear on the west wall. Now what we're gonna do with that window we're gonna tell it what type of window we have okay that's a, a vinyl window we're gonna say it's a 2 by 3 vinyl window now that window is complete. Now I put that window on the west wall if you'll notice on my drawing it should actually be facing north so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this window and we're gonna drag it up to the north wall and we're gonna move that item just so that window is on the north wall I actually made a mistake there but you can correct it because you can drag and drop 
um, items in there. Okay, so when we add this floor um, to the room, we are going to put the floor over a crawl space, uh, no radiant heat, and we'll throw in a little bit of insulation. Now, the nice thing with floors, it already picks up our room dimensions. You know, if this master bathroom is 18 by 18, well, then the floor's got to be 18 by 18. So on our floors and ceilings, we just have to give it a type, and it's going to take care of our size for us. So we're going to go go ahead and also add a ceiling um, to this bathroom. Um, we're going to put the ceiling under a vented attic. Uh, we have some shingles, and we're just going to throw in a little bit of insulation on that ceiling again. And as you can see, the program pulls in our dimensions for us there. So at that point, that room is done. Um, so what we can do is we can add another room. And you'll see that room up here in the outline. And we're just going to rename this Master Bedroom. And we're basically going to repeat the process that we just did um, with the bathroom. So we're going to go 17 by 18. Uh, we're going to put in one full-time occupant in that bedroom. And again, if you want to throw in a TV or, or something that you think will be constantly running, you can. Um, from there, we go ahead and add a wall. If you look at my drawing, I only have one wall that is exposed to the outside temperatures in that bedroom. It is facing west, um, and that's going to be 18 feet long. That wall is now complete. Now, if you look at my drawing here, I do have two windows um, on that master bedroom, so we're going to go ahead and add a window. Assuming it's the same standard two-pane vinyl window, maybe this one is a 3 by 4 Now that bedroom also has another window. We're going to add another window. Now that west wall has two windows in that bedroom. Of course, we need to take our, into account our floor. Again, saves our type, saves our size. We add a ceiling, and again, it pulls in our dimensions from that uh, master bedroom ceiling as well. So once you get into the room by room and start adding floors and ceilings to these rooms you can see how quick you can actually go through it. I'm going to go ahead and add another room. This is going to be our final room. I'm going to call this the office. As you can see in my drawing the office is 20 by 20. Now what I'm going to do I'm going to throw in a computer and a monitor in the office. I'm just going to put in a quantity of one. Um, of those items just to take that into account um, for that office area. Now again if you look at my drawing I have two exposed walls in the office so we're going to go ahead and add a wall. This wall is going to be 20 feet long facing west. We're going to add one more wall which is going to be right here and we're going to add uh, we're going to make that south. Now you'll see in my office we have a west and a south wall. If I look at my south wall here, I do have a window. So we're going to go ahead and add a window to that south wall. We're just going to keep it at 3 by 4. We're going to go to this west wall. And as you can see, I have two windows in my drawing. We're going to go ahead and add a window. It's going to be a 3 by 4, another window, a 3 by 4. And now that, that uh, wall is complete. Of course, that room needs a floor. Again, same construction, pulls in automatically pulls in my 20 by 20. Go ahead and add my ceiling. And again, same construction, automatically pulls in my 20 by 20. So you're sort of getting the hang of how, how the room by room um, enters in. Now, obviously you're going to have, you know, you would put in a family room, a living room, a kitchen, uh, and you're taking care of your fridge and things like that. Uh, but you're following the same pattern um, time and time again within the program. Now when we go to report, since we're doing a room by room, we have more options available to us. If you're using mini splits uh, or hydronic heat, uh, baseboard, however you're, you're doing it, we can calculate each room individually as well. Now I put all three of those rooms under one system. Uh, let me resize this a little bit for the, the purpose of our our video here. I put everything under one system so you're, you're gonna see my system, my total heating and to, total cooling load. Now keep in mind I've only done three rooms so my load is a little light. But since I chose I wanted to view the room reports, well now I have my master bathroom, my master bathroom that I can look at. 
Here is the total heating and cooling for the master bathroom. If I go to the next page, here is the master bedroom. My total heating, my total cooling. Uh, if I go to the next page, you're going to see the office. Uh, my total heating, my total cooling for that. And again, you see that ACA Manual J logo on each page showing you the program is approved um, and it is based on Manual J. Um, if I go to the last page here, you will see that it, it breaks down uh, your CFM per room. Now, if you're using a 2 ton, obviously you would put in 800 CFM, 3 ton, 1200 CFM, and it would break down uh, your CFM values per room um, if you wanted. Right now it's just giving me a, a generic calculation based on what I have in there. And again, the purpose of this video is just to show you um, how to do that room by room. Um, if you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at 815-452-2345, uh, or you can contact us via email at support at adtechsoft.com. Um, all of your tech support is included, so feel free to give us a call anytime. Thanks for checking out the video, and hope to see you soon.